<laughs> well, let's keep feeling better. Yes, yes, definitely. absolutely. So, Yogani, is I, I really want to um, I, I want to continue talking with you, but because this is my first show live in a while, what I'm going to do is um, let's let's look at what we could what we want to break down as far as what are the most important first three practices that we should share with our audience so that they know what's coming and what to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Well, we've talked about two already, uh, deep meditation and spinal breathing pranayama. Yes. The third one, actually, we have some choice there. Um, we could we could go into some hatha yoga style practices, talk about asanas, mudras, and bandhas a bit, or we could jump to tantra. Um, I think those can be done tantra. in either order. Yes, and they they are related as well. Uh huh. So, um, and then beyond that, we can get into samyama. Uh, we can get into discussions about uh, uh, bhakti yoga, which is the yoga of devotion and the desire for God and yes. spirituality. Yes. There's a there's a long list we can come up with. And I think we really should. I I think this year would should be dedicated for myself to to really deepening this yogic practice and sharing it with my audience and that's something that I can definitely commit to. Okay, and thank you. Yes. There's some one more thing I should add because yes. there are quite a few people out there who follow what's called a non-dual path. Yes. Um, which would be the teachings of a uh, Krishnamurti or uh-huh. someone like that uh-huh. where one of the um, one of the tenets of that teaching is uh, there's don't practice, um, and we cover that uh-huh. also in AYP. We have a, a very good way of approaching um, the area of practice that's sometimes called self inquiry, where we work with inner silence and we develop self inquiry in a way that fulfills the teachings of. Krishnamurti, even though he probably wouldn't have liked us to do it the way we're doing it. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> but I mention that because there are quite a few people out there and people on the Buddhist uh, path who very often work with inquiry and mental techniques where you're looking at your everyday life and saying, is this real? No, this isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. And we have very practical ways for conveying um, and compatible ways for conveying approaches that are uh, in line with those teachings as well. Fantastic. Well, we've got quite a lot to share, <laughs> and I'm very excited about it. Um, and so we'll we'll start we'll start getting those uh, those interviews together pretty soon. And um, right now, my show is the first Sunday of the month while I'm traveling in Europe. Um, so we'll we'll continue our discussion, Yogani, and um, get everything set up. Well, thank you, Dr. Ann. You're so welcome. Thank you for coming on the show today. Oh, you're very welcome. Anytime. And um, we'll we'll just have, uh, at the beginning of um, of February, we'll have a whole list for everybody of what, what we're going to do for the rest of the year. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you for joining me today, and blessings to you. Same to you, and the guru is in you. The guru is in you, too. Goddess bless. Namaste. Namaste. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed that introduction to Yogani. Um, I've just got so excited about his website. And again, his website is www.advancedyogapractices, which is abbreviated to AYP, site, S-I-T-E, dot org. So check that out. I have 10 minutes left before a shift happens, comes on the air.